What's up, YouTube? It's Cards of Michael. Today we're opening a Wilds of Aldrain Collector Booster. This time for Ronald. Let's get straight to it. Wilds of Aldrain! Honestly, we are now, what, uh, an entire week after release? And, um, sorry, two weeks after release, my correction. And honestly, the set's been performing very well. Um, Limited has been good. We have Worlds. Uh, it's just a good time. Now, I've been checking prices. Confetti foils have actually been stable with uh, the Rhystic Study and the Smothering Tide, the, the kind of do two big hitters, actually slightly going up. They also have like a waifu uh, effect feel to them. So, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can pull one of those confetti foils. And, of course, we have, uh, in terms of the non-Enchanted Tales, we have Agatha's Soul Cauldron, Beseech the Mirror, Moonshaker Cavalry uh, as our big hitters, and then a lot of the virtues kind of after that. All right, we got Questing Druid, rare, waste not. This is part of the Enchanting Tales. That's the W O T right there. Pollen Shield Hair, Loam Crafter Fawn, Spellbook Vendor. This card has a, a bit of the Baldur's Gate vibe. And then we have Griffin Airy, Garrick's Uprising, and the rest of the cards. Okay, that was pack number one. Let's see what pack number two brings us. Um, in terms of sales, I think sales have drastically slowed down since our last video. Um, another reasoning for it is this week, uh, last weekend was a pre-release of OP4, Kingdoms of Intrigue, One Piece set, and um, I love this card, Restless. Bivoke? Bivoke? Bivak? Unfinished Business. And uh, this week is official release of Kingdoms of Intrigue. So that's One Piece TCG. Another TCG that's kind of been taking a little bit of market share from Magic. It is a Bandai game, so that means it's the same company that makes Dragon Ball, Super, and Digimon. Um, so it's not... like That, that company is not really known for taking a lot of market share from Magic, like a, a lot of the people that play OP or One Piece are players that play the other Bandai games. The Bandai is usually cannibalizing itself. Uh, they have also have another competitive circuit called Battle Spirit Saga, which has been drawing crowds and has a decent amount of money that they're throwing at it. Nature's Will. Um, this is the anime style, but not a confetti foil. Uh, this card's super popular. Ariette of the Charmed Apple. Feral Encounter, and Will Scion of Peace. So, yeah, that's another like kind of pressure point for Magic, but you know, if you're the type of person that doesn't play any other TCGs and Magic's the only game you know, those are distractions, right? Like, those shouldn't really be impacting your spend behavior, but on a macro level, it does impact Magic. Magic is not what it used to be. Um, it's not the only game in town. And uh, smart game stores have, been <coughs> excuse me, have been catering to these other games. Here we have a Smothering Tide, which is still a very valuable card. This is not the anime style. It's kind of like the showcase style. Smothering Tide, Varying Sugar Maw, Court of Embereth from the Commander set. The whole another cycle of courts. Okay. Lord Skitter's Blessing, Raid Bombardment, Spreading Seas. Just realize this looks like an oil rig. Okay. Alright. On to the next pack. I've been told that um, the... I guess, like... One Piece is not really competing with Magic in that sense, but there are players who are not playing Magic as much because of One Piece. Um, I've been told that the One Piece uh, organized play program is decent, uh, drawing pretty large crowds, and it seems like it's just another thing for players to spend money on that is not Magic. What the heck? Candy Grapple? Yikes. Ooh. I do like myself. Prophetic Prism. That is... It's a nice card. 
All right, on to the next pack for Ronald. Ronald gave me some pretty simple instructions. He just said, please open a confetti foil. So we're going to try to do that. Here we go. Pollen Shield Hair, Ley Line of Lightning, Cruel Somnophage, Lord Skitter's Blessing, A Tale for the Ages. All right, where is our confetti foil? We did do an opening uh, already, and we got a confetti foil at that time. We got a I think it was land tax confetti foil. All right, here we go. Phyrexian Unlife. This is part of the the. I can't believe this is part of the Enchanting Tales. Okay, Leyland Abundance, Virtue of Loyalty. Just a powerful, powerful card. My goodness. Sunbird's Blessing and Halda's Crown of Winter. Okay, Grasp of Fate. It just, this reminds me of like, you know, for like Valentine's, you're like, can you draw me a heart? And then, I love you. Here's my heart. Anyways. Mm. All right. On to the last few packs. We got five packs left. About half of a box left. Plenty of opportunity to hit that confetti foil. Let's do it today. Here we go. We're doing a back uh, another video as well after this uh, in a couple days for Ronald. Ronald got a, got got a twofer. All right, Blight Obedience. I love this card. Extor was one of my favorite mechanics. Not sure it was a great mechanic. Ooh, Mosswood Dread Knight. It's a powerful card. Agatha Red Cap Gutter Dweller. So we don't hit today. We'll definitely hit next time. All right. All right, here we go. All right, Elvish Archivist, Karmic Justice, Restless Cottage, Lich Knight's Quest, Conquest, and we got Spreading Seas, Vampiric Rites. Jeez, the Spreading Seas from this set is probably one of the cheapest cards. I feel like every single pack has one. All right, here we go. Last three packs. We got a Yenna Red Tooth Regent. Red Tooth, interesting. Why is she Red Tooth? Shared and Namosity. Kellen, the Fade Blooded. Spellbook Vendor and a Scalding Viper. Okay. Last two packs, please. All right, here we go. Primal Vigor. Ristic Study. All right, all right, all right. This is not a confetti foil. This is the uh, kind of just the anime style. But it's still, it's it's worth more than a lot of the other confetti foils. Uh, it's about 70 bucks here in the U.S. So super good hit, super good hit. All right, Heart Flame Duelist. Rotisserie Elemental. That's a funny one. Spiteful Hex Mage. All right. Last pack magic. Can we hit a confetti foil? Let's do it. I think even like a... Actually, my favorite art, I think, is probably the Omniscience anime style. Anime Borderless confetti foil. Charming Scoundrel. Ley Line of the Void. Horn, Lock Whale, Rankles, Prank, Devouring, Sugar Maw. So no confetti foil in this box. I believe I was told it's like two-ish per case. So one every other three boxes. So we should definitely hit one next, right? That's the, the Law of Variance, Scambler's Fallacy. Anyways, thanks for watching this. Hope you had a good time. Leave a little thumbsy up, see like, see if you like this type of thing. And we're going to do another one later this week. Bye-bye.